All right, YouTube. So this video, we're going to get right into it. Uh, you don't really need to see myself. Um, looks like uh, the uh, Canon R5 Mark II um, sensor data is actually available now. Uh, and uh, photons to photos, um, just like we did with the Nikon Z63, uh, has tested it and uh, we have the results. So we're gonna take it and run it through uh, uh, some, uh, uh, you know, different settings and different things that you can do with the sensor and how they've tested it. Um, and uh, one thing I'll say is, looks like a lot of the YouTubers are probably butt hurt. Petapixel for sure is probably gonna be butt hurt, um, claiming that you know they had issues with with the dynamic range. And uh, we're gonna actually see uh, how it stacks up against. Uh, uh, the infamous Nikon Z8, Z9, and, and uh, obviously the Z63. So um, let's get right into this video and uh, take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and actually bring up the... Uh, first, uh, I'm scrolling here on the right side if you look. Uh, let's go down and actually pull up the Nikon Z63 uh, first and, uh, and then we'll overlay the others. Um, because that one was, uh, you know, highly controversial. So you see the Z63, I'm not gonna use the DX mode because it gets worse. Um, but uh, this one here is uh, uh, the standard, uh, you know, non-DX non full frame mode. So here you are, that's what's up on the screen now. And I am going to head on up here to uh, get the Canon R5 Mark II. So it should be here, R5. Here's the R5 Mark II. Um, here's the APS-C version, and then there's the electronic shutter. So I'll do, I'll do both for you. So here is the mechanical shutter. Um, as you can see, uh, the R5 Mark II is actually in the black. Um, and uh, if you actually look, uh, I don't like the toggle on this thing. 11.5 uh, stops the dynamic range at ISO 50 versus 10.4. It's literally almost a one-stop advantage uh, over the Z6 III. Um, and uh, that's a 24 megapixel. This is 45 megapixel. If I put on the electronic shutter, um, because people are gonna complain, um, and uh you know all of that so i'm putting both of them up and even that is actually greater uh especially all the way up to iso 800 and then from there it's almost neck to neck but you got to keep in mind the resolution is double um so what is this really saying um i think canon has hit it out of the park at this point so the green one is the electronic shutter as you can see right here um if you look right through here this is the canon r5 mark ii you can see all of the numbers uh, as you go through in this. Almost 11 stops of dynamic range at ISO 50. Um, and if I close this, um, you can see here 10.43 stops of dynamic range at ISO 50 is, uh, is, is where we are. And the highest is ISO 63 uh, on the Nikon Z63, which is uh, a sensor that just was introduced now, recently. So. That's the only reason why I'm picking them because they are within a month to two months of each other of, of being tested here. Um, gonna go ahead and scroll down and then we're gonna actually put on uh, the infamous uh, Nikon Z8, uh, which was the one that came out uh, right around, you know, a um, little bit uh, around the time when, when uh, uh, you know, the, um, uh, I would say more more when the R5 was there. And then there was a lot of noise that Z8 can do this, do that. Um, when I click on the Z8, as you can see, um, at ISO 31, it actually has ISO 31, which is kind of cool. Um, Canons only go down to 50, which is still pretty good. Um, but at 50, it's 11.29, and then ISO uh, 31, it's 11.3. So, you know, um, this has uh, definitely got uh, higher dynamic range uh, on the Z8. Um, but when you actually look at, again, you got to keep in mind that when you use the electronic shutter right here, 
from here to here the Z8's got an advantage but if you have if you use the mechanical shutter in the R5 Mark II which the Z8 does not have you still have greater advantage where you have higher dynamic range all the way through the the range here um, that's one thing that Nikon Z8 Z9 do not have so if I even overlay the Z9 like you're seeing here on top of it it's almost a mirror image of the Z8 um, so that's you know we'll leave that off the table um, <clears throat> having said that what you can actually see here whatever Canon has done here I think they really have hit it out of the park and from a dynamic range perspective um, down here this little blue is where your Z6 actually sits with uh, your uh, you know uh, I assume it's the mechanical shutter that they used uh, when they did it uh, it doesn't say electronic or not but when I go down here on the Nikon Z6 III it just has Z6 III and then it has the DX mode the DX mode is the one that's in purple that just popped up down here um, it's even worse um, anyway so when you look at this just because of the sheer resolution uh, difference between the Z6 III and the Canon R5 the Z8 I don't know, um, the Z6 III, you, you can say whatever you want, but looks like so something just didn't go right there. Um, here is the, if I, if I actually go ahead and turn on the APS-C, I'm overlaying it right here. The Canon R5 APS-C, which is right here, that you're seeing, it's, uh, see it flashing on top, that's literally neck to neck with the Nikon Z6 III um, in its full frame, um, you know, uh, on, on what it's giving. So you can literally get this, you can get more dynamic range. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll say this differently. You're getting almost the same dynamic range on the Canon R5 in crop mode as you are in Z on the Nikon Z6 III in full frame mode. It's right here. So having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all uh, Nikon cameras for a second, because what I wanna show you now is when I look at this R5 and how would it actually pair to my A92, which is also a 24 megapixel stack sensor. And that was made back in 2018, 2019. Um, so there is that right there. So when you look at, and that's in the blue, that you're seeing. So when you look at this, um, it's the Nikon Z6 III cannot even match a full, fully stacked sensor from 2018-2019, which is the which is the Sony A92, which which is the other camera that I actually shoot. It's almost 11 stops of dynamic range out of this thing. Pretty impressive. But on the other hand, now I'm getting that same level of dynamic range out of the sensor out of the r5 mark ii with double the resolution this has come a very long way guys um, and all i can tell you is this whole conversation about um sony having a major edge in in you know dynamic range and this and that i think all of that's becoming a mute point at this point um because all these cameras are pretty damn good uh, when you look at it side by side so uh, I'm not saying the Nikon's bad it's just you know I think the Z8 Z9 are better options like I said in my video um, than the Z6 III according to me uh, and the, that's the photographic dynamic range so it makes total sense why Canon has chose to put in their C-Log2 uh, into this very sensor and I can see why um, you have 11 and a half stops of dynamic range right here in photographic mode in video you should be able to pull 14 to 15 stops um, with c-log 2 out of the sensor um, pretty impressive so with that all of the youtubers and all of the junkies that thought that this thing is going to tank in uh, you know uh, dynamic range arena it didn't happen so you know there you have it the this is proof in the pudding this is not about you know taking files and then pushing them five to six stops and blowing your head out. This is really actually 
taking a look at exactly what's coming off of these sensors. So when you are ready to get into a situation where you really need everything that all the juice that you can get out of the sensor, you have the ability. And the best part about the R5 Mark II, you actually have a mechanical shutter, just like the Sony A9 II here. It has a mechanical shutter. Um, having said that, um, that's, that's huge because that actually allows you uh, to be able to maximize your dynamic range uh, if you want quality over speed. So, uh, you know, with the, most of the new Nikon cameras, that's becoming a mute point because they are gone with a different idea of wanting to just have only electrical, uh, electrical, electronic shutter. So with that, you got to keep that in mind. So with that, like, subscribe, be nice to each other, go out there, create your magic, and I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you.